My Scorpio babies, this is going to be a quick energy update. I hope all has been well with you guys. Welcome in to all the newbies. Hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you guys again. And to those of you guys that are returning, welcome back. I hope all has been well. I hope you guys miss me like I miss y'all, okay? <laughs> Make sure y'all also follow me on TikTok and all my other platforms. I will leave that below as well as my spiritual store and my booking site. I just restocked on all the stuff on my site and it's already selling out so fast. So make sure you guys go check it out and get y'all spiritual, beautiful candles, okay? What's this energy? Energy for me Scorpios. What's the energy for Scorpios? You guys are about to get a confirmation about something. It could be betrayal with me saying that. You guys are about to get some type of confirmation. I just heard confirmation. All right. What's this energy for Scorpios? This could even be regarding a job. I'm getting a specific message for someone, a download. It could be a confirmation you're about to get about a job. All right. That's for someone. All right. You have the Page of Cups here. The Two of Cups. And the Six of Swords. Someone may be coming in with an apology and to offer you something. But you may not take this person seriously or you don't even know if you should take this person seriously. Because they're coming to you as a page. You may even find this person very immature. Maybe in the past you did want to come to calmer waters with this person. So keep in mind, it's not going to resonate with everybody. And it's not going to be everybody's message. All right, y'all. This could be past, present, or near future for you. But I, I don't feel like you're going to take this person seriously. Yeah, somebody's coming back. I feel like they missed out on you. Or they're missing out on you. And they're stressed out. They're realizing that this may be more of a deeper connection than they, than they thought it would be. 2-2-2 two, two, two energy. Or they knew it was becoming more, but they didn't really want to acknowledge it. Or, or It's something here they didn't want to... Or maybe they weren't ready or something. 2-3-4. So some of y'all could be seeing that too. But there's something here that they were like acting blind to. I feel like somebody feels like a clown too. Nine of Wands. You look like this person drains your energy. But they're an energy vampire. Could be in and out of your life for some of you. This is also someone that's building the courage to come in and, and maybe even bring you an apology. But it may not even be a genuine apology for most of you. This That's why you don't really trust it. Yeah, look. Eight of Wands, as I'm saying, that's communication. This is somebody that's coming in and they may even want to offer you something. Or they're only coming in for some of you because they feel like you're talking to someone new. Or they want to get you before you talk to somebody new. Somebody can even have controlling issues here. It's like somebody wants to have their cake and eat it too. Or this is how they were in the past. But they don't want you to do that to them. When the shoe is on the other foot... They don't like that. They want to stand their ground when they come to you. Yeah, high priest. But look, because they're in their feelings. King of Cups. Can we do a water sign for some of you? Heavy water sign energy. But the divine is telling you to trust your intuition and stand your ground. Okay? Somebody's acting out of emotion here. They don't want you to get an offer. I'm telling you, they don't want you to get someone new. Some of y'all got other opportunities coming in for you or new offers. So this person's coming in to offer you a commitment because they feel like this is something that you wanted or you've always wanted. But I see you getting justice, Libra energy, and you're still getting your Ten of Pentacles without this person. Libra energy, like I just said, and Virgo. Gemini as well. Somebody could have treated you like you were a Knight of Wands. And you weren't. And if you don't know what I mean by not a wands, they could have been treating you like you were other people from their past or other options they may have had or you were easy or 
you were just someone that, that they just wanted to play around with, but somebody realized real quick that it really wasn't that. You're an empress or an emperor. You're a high priest energy here. And you're very protected. But someone wants to come in and have a reunion with you. This person can have childhood trauma. Whoever this person is. I'm hearing parental issues or parent issues or something like that. They got past childhood trauma. For some of you, this already happened in the past life. You went through this with this person in the past life. You could be dealing with a twin flame for some of you. Or someone you just have a spiritual contract with. All right. Look, they're going through a tower. For some of you, they're even going through a bigger tower if they think you're dealing with someone else or you're talking to someone else. Somebody is really toxic. Capricorn energy. But this is someone that did something to make you walk away from them. And is bringing you justice. Or they walked away from you. But them coming back or returning or trying to have a conversation with you, it's only going to give you more clarity about something. That's that confirmation energy I was picking up on in the beginning. For some of you, it could be a job. For some of you, it's a commitment, right? But it's only bringing you in some confirmation that you were right for already walking away from them or not wanting to be with them again. Yeah, and they self-sabotage this with you. So you, you're going to get some type of confirmation that you were right for something that you did or that you will be doing, okay? This is going to be a confirmation reading for someone. Somebody wants to have their cake and eat it too. Yeah. But you're heading to common waters and a lot of opportunities coming your way. Look, Empress, I'm not making this up. To the Nine of Cups, your wishes are being fulfilled. Cancer energy. Yeah, justice again. All right, let's get some... Let me, just mess, let me get some messages from here. Make sure y'all following my other platforms. Make sure you're liking this video if it's resonating with you or if you're simply just enjoying the reading or my good energy. <laughs> then hit the like button. The more likes I get, the more people can view this video that need to see this video. Also, make sure you're following my TikTok and all my other platforms. I will leave all that information in the description box, you guys. And hit that subscribe button and set your notification bells on here. I'm going to be posting on TikTok right when I finish you guys' video. So make sure y'all follow me on TikTok. What's this energy here? Yeah, you're focusing on self-love now. You don't want this person back. You're still trying to heal. Move forward from this situation. But somebody is feeling lost without you. But they need to go find they self too because they play too many games. Yes. You want a commitment. And this person knows that. And they may be coming in to offer you that, like I said, because they feel like you're moving forward. New chapter. Didn't I say there could be a soul tie or a twin flame connection here? Yes. Soul ties. Spiritual contract. Yep. Who is this energy? Thank you. Emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. So yeah, this is someone that don't know how to open up emotionally or they did it when you were dealing with them. And they know that that's something that you may require. That may be something that you require. Okay. They may even be watching you online. You may have them blocked though, but they may be finding a way to watch you online. Okay. I see you looking good and moving on. I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better and I will compete for you. Unblock me. I miss you and want to connect. Please unblock me literally or energetically. So you could be blocking them energetically and literally or just one or the other. They want to speak to you. They may have something to say to you or have a lot to say to you. Let's get another message here. Let's get one more message. Yeah, my fantasy is inseparable trying to come out. It's something about you they can't get enough of. They're becoming obsessed. We have wild side coming out. There's a side to you I haven't seen, and I want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. It's like this person wants you to be on the same time they own, but you're mature. Emotionally mature at everything. You know what you want. You don't want to be on no wild side. You don't want to play no games. Yeah, this person misses you, but they feel like their opportunity has been missed. 
Yeah, well, I'm leaving and you're leaving them because you feel like they were gaslighting you, playing games. And for some of you, you may feel like they were attached to somebody else from their past, attached to an ex. All right, for others of you, what's wrong, baby? Hold on, y'all. My son woke up. What's wrong? What you want? Get it. You get one. Get it. Give me a second, you guys. My son just got up. <laughs> Ooh, what you want, baby? What you want one of these? Okay. <laughs> he said, yep. <laughs> I'm glad you chose like a little bar in here. Little bar. Here, baby. Go sit on the couch over now. Mommy huggy? Mommy kiss? I love you. Here, you can get you can get this, but you can't. I'm not turning that TV on right now. Not in here, because mommy's recording right now, okay? You can play this right now. Go sit down. Okay? Go sit on the couch. What's wrong? Go sit on the couch. Okay, we'll go lay in the bed. You want to go lay in the bed? Go lay in the bed. Mommy bring you a game in a minute, okay? Go sit down. I'll bring you a game in a minute. I'm almost done. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Mommy do these. <laughs> All right. He just woke up. Let's close this out. Let's get a message here. Let's get a message here. Let's close this out. Somebody wants you to be the way they want you to be. And that's the problem. Go with the flow and allow, allow people to love you. That's, that, that's the energy I'm getting. Somebody wouldn't allow you to love them or allow you to, or even give you a chance if it wasn't that deep for some of you. Somebody wouldn't even like give you a chance to see where it would have went. But they knew you were wish fulfillment. You were an empress, 12, 12 on the clock. They knew this. They view you as wish fulfillment. It's like, it's like playing you, they play they self, okay? I played myself by playing you. That's what I'm going to title this, the title of this reading. I played myself by playing you. <laughs> Can I get this closing out message? Traveling. Some of y'all may be traveling. Traveling opens my mind and raises my self-development to new levels. Some of y'all may be traveling, The number 25 can be significant or the number seven. What's the energy here? We have becoming aware. Yeah, you're becoming more aware of who you are and what you want and what you need to do. A lot of self-reflecting has taken place with you. You're not wasting any more time. You know what you deserve. Okay. I am becoming aware of the things that are holding me back. So I can live my life to its full potential. Yeah, because you know all that you have to offer and you know what you bring to the table. And you feel like you don't have to prove nothing to nobody because you know who you are. And if they're not meant to be in your life, they're just not meant to be in your life. And you're understanding that, okay? And you're opening up to this new beginning, what it is that you want. What's this energy here? Yeah, shout out to the heavens with happiness. You're praying a lot more for someone here. And you're, I feel like when you pray too, you're thanking the divine for all that they're doing for you, all the changes that are coming in for you, all the hard lessons and hard pills you had to swallow. But you're grateful that you went through it because you're learning, you're accepting, you're forgiving. 14, 14 on the clock and you're owning up to the role that you played in situations by allowing certain things. You're done holding on to pain, anger, people that hurt you. You're just walking away and you're walking into a new beginning, a new chapter, as we already seen. Yeah, you're going through a transformation. Okay? A fresh new way of living emerges here. 
fellow travelers, support all around you. Yeah, as you're traveling, you guys are protected, okay? So if there's, there's some of you out there that fear traveling. I'm getting this message from one of you. If you fear traveling or you're scared of being off the ground <laughs> like I am, I'm getting open to that, right? That's, that's me personally. I'm getting open to that. That can resonate with me too, but they're saying, don't worry, you're going to be fine. Okay, you're very protected. Support is all around you and love is all around you. Okay? Oh, something happened. What happened to my baby? What happened? All right, y'all. I gotta go. Something happened. My baby want me. I love y'all. Gotta go. <laughs>